What is up guys, my name is Steven and welcome back to a brand new Clash Royale video. Today we're doing all Siege cards. Yes, that is right, Expo, Mortar, and Royal Giant. But for the Royal Giant, I'll be doing that in the last battle of the day. So for the first few, I'm just going to be running Expo, Mortar with the Rage Spell and Mirror Spell. And we're going to go ahead and see how this goes. Now before we start the video, I would just like to say that if you guys do enjoy drop trolling content, be sure to smack that like button down below. Let's try to shoot for 300 likes on today's video, guys. I really appreciate all the recent support. If you guys do enjoy my content, be sure to hit that subscribe button and turn on push notifications. It really does help, guys. So anyways, let's just hop into our first battle of the day. Hopefully, we can get some good plays with the Expo and Mortar. They do have a chance to defend if they do play well enough, because I'm pretty sure I don't really have any tank killers in my deck. Like, the only way I could beat them is just by overwhelming them with Mortars and Expos, as of right now. But, like, if they do have a Giant or anything like that, a Giant Prince should be able to completely shut down my push because I don't really have any high damage cards. I only have the Ice Spirit, Zap, and Log, which is not really that much, to be honest. Like, I can only take out their backline, but if they do place down, like, a Prince and a Giant, that's something I can't counter. So, he is going to drop a Prince, but... I'm just going to be able to log it out, I guess. You know, my tower is going to finish it off, obviously. Uh, let's try to get some more mortars down right here. Let's start up a mortar on the left-hand side. We'll go ahead and drop our second mortar on the other side. Get a dual lane push going on. All right, let's go. I don't know what he's going to do about this. Like, he's probably just wondering what are these two buildings shooting rocks at my tower. He's going to fireball one, but, you know, the other one's still going to be standing. And he's going to fireball the level 8. I guess. <laughs> okay, now he's just gonna get pissed at me. I probably should have raged the other one because the other one's obviously doing way less damage and just gonna die right now. But my level 11 mortar should end up taking one crown right now. Let's go ahead. Counter his prince. I'll drop a log right here. The ice spirit should clean that prince up with the freeze. All right, he does have a bomber coming down the left side lane. So I'm just gonna place down a defensive mortar right here. All right, guys, so we do have the Expo up right now. We should be able to take that tower fairly easily, but I don't know if I want to drop it, like, on his side of the arena so we can take both towers with it on my side. But anyways, let's just go ahead and drop my Expo on our side, you know, just across the bridge. We'll take his tower down from here, and then we'll go ahead and mirror the mortars on his side of the arena and get a three crown like that. So I don't know if he's going to drop anything right now. I'm pretty sure he does have the giant and prince ready to go so let me just go ahead and cycle through a few cards we'll start up a mortar on this side and another mortar on that side i'm pretty sure he just gave up that this point like he just gave me a laugh and he's not even dropping anything anymore all right looks like he does have something in mind like he's gonna start dropping down his prince i guess but still got two mortars working for me he is gonna start up another giant push i mean if he did this earlier if he did do the giant and prince push earlier i could have lost the tower to him especially if I didn't have the mirror up because like mirroring logs is like the only way I can take out a tanky backline such as a prince behind a giant or a knight behind a giant as of right now let's go ahead rage up our mortar let's try to get at three crown just like this but I'm pretty sure this prince is gonna take out my other mortar and my other mortar is just gonna end up dying he is gonna end up fireballing nothing as well but you know what we got the expo ready let's just take the three crown up like this i don't have the rage fell up but that should be enough to three crown him good game well played first win of the day we're on our way getting back into legendary arena pretty soon or probably after christmas that's when i'll start pushing back up to legendary arena i'll just have some more fun in arena one as of right now he is going to give us a crying phase let me just go ahead give him a well played for that I mean, to be fair, he did have a chance, and he kind of just AFK'd halfway through the battle for no reason at all. Alright guys, we're in our next battle, and we're up against Manu Craft, level 3 player. Alright, good luck, man. He's gonna start off with a Goblin Barrel on our tower with a Giant. Alright, let's just go ahead and log that out. You know, take out the Giant as well. Let me just go ahead and drop a defensive Expo right here. We got the Mirrored Expo up as well, but I'm probably just gonna use the Mortar to take out his tower before I start dropping down the expos let's just cycle through a bit more I don't really know what he's gonna drop right now but let's wait for him to make a move first let's go ahead and burn the ice spear right here all right he just dropped a giant and golem bro so obviously he's not gonna have his tank up let's go ahead 
start up a mortar right here and we'll drop the mirrored one on the other side get a dual lane pressure going on so he's obviously going to have to choose which lane to defend right now and i'm pretty sure um a level 11 mortars should be able to one crown him i'm pretty sure like normal tournament level standards play you're not supposed to one crown somebody with only one mortar you could do it with like one expo but the mortar just doesn't do enough damage to completely one crown somebody in that short amount of time but he doesn't seem to be doing anything he is gonna drop a prince i'm pretty sure he just like lagged or dozed off or something right there but let me just go ahead and zap that skeleton army the prince shouldn't get that much damage off of our tower let's go ahead drop the expo down guys he does have a witch coming in let me just go ahead and drop a nice spirit freeze that witch right there and we got the one crown in the bag right now I'll start a dual mortar push as soon as we take the one crown, but we do need to get his giants out of the way because if he does drop a giant, we're pretty much going to be screwed because I'm pretty sure a giant could distract the mortar from the other side. Let's go ahead and drop two mortars right here. One on each side, you know, get that dual lane pressure going. He's obviously going to have to defend one, but I'm pretty sure he could also let the other one down because his king tower does have 2000 HP, but he doesn't really seem to be doing anything like he's just going to give up at this point. Good game, well played. He pretty much just gave up at the end and I dropped one last expo to take the three crown. Anyways guys, let's get this crown chest opened up first before we go into any future battles. Still no epic from the crown chest. Alright, let's just go hop straight into another battle right now guys. Alright guys, next battle of the day. We're up against nerdy level 4 player. Good luck to you man. Alright, let's start off with a Rage Spell, you know, just burn that on our King Tower. He does have a Mini P.E.K.K.A. on the left side lane. Let me just go ahead and drop an Ice Spirit to counter that. Alright, let's get some more Expos down. I think the Knight should just die pretty soon, but let me get a dual lane Expo push going. You know, just pressure each side, and I'm not going to drop it on the river, so you can't, like, drop a Giant or Prince and instantly take it out. But anyways, we got two expos going on his towers right now and i'm pretty sure that expo even though it's like badly damaged is still should be able to take the one crown or at least get us both crowns because we have two expos down all right so like pretty much we won this i mean it was a pretty boring battle overall he pretty much like blacked out half the way through the battle and just completely gave up but like once i got both of his crowns he started dropping troops just to counter my expos again for some reason i don't really know why but anyways good game well played let's do one more battle and for this battle we're putting in the rgg royal giant i have bad memories playing against this card especially when i was playing rank ladder in the 3000s i honestly hated the royal giant so much at one point i would kick anybody who used the royal giant out of my clan or at least demote them and i would go into the clan of every royal giant user i beat and just share the replay and call them like a faggot or something but anyways I'm super glad I got nerfed like it's not that good of a card anymore and hopefully it stays that way like Supercell we all know what happens when a card releases as trash and then you buff it and now it becomes like next meta card everybody's using like you already had huge mistakes like the Royal Giant and Elite Barbarians. Hopefully, you would have learned from the Royal Giant incident, but no, you still decided to make the Elite Barbarians and buff them so much after no one was using them in the first updates, I guess, when it came out. Anyways, guys, we're through with this guy's defenses. We can take his right tower with the Expo, I'm pretty sure, at this point. Come on, is the bomber gonna kill the Expo? Oh my god, the expo with his last shots, it did end up taking the one crown. Alright, let's go. Royal Giant on the left hand side. We don't have the rage spell, but that's going to be okay. The Royal Giant should also end up taking a one crown because it has a really good DPS to be honest. I'm pretty sure it has like a higher DPS than the expo, but the thing is it can be targeted by the enemy's crown towers. All right, we got the one crown, boys. Let's go ahead, uh, drop another expo on his king tower. As soon as we have enough elixir, we'll get that three crown going right now. I'm pretty sure he is going to defend against this. All right, he did drop a knight to distract my expo. Let's go zap that Valkyrie right there. Okay, he does have a baby dragon on my expo. That's going to be bad for us because the expo is kind of squishy. You know, let's just rage that up. We'll drop an ice spear, try to stop that baby dragon from killing my expo come on expo get a few more shots in before the baby dragon kills you all right I, i'm pretty sure we could just finish that off with one more royal giant so let's go royal giant on his side of the arena 
we should just be able to take the three crown like this unless like he pulls some crazy play and stops us somehow goblins probably would have killed it if he did have a bit more dps but anyways good game well played guys we got the three crown in the bag so if you guys did enjoy today's drop trolling video royal giant expo and mortar all siege cards be sure to leave a like down below show your support guys and also don't forget to tell me what card you want to see me troll with next and if you guys do enjoy clash royale drop trolling content be sure to subscribe and turn on push notifications and i'll see you guys in the next clash royale video peace